Hello, welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. In today's video, I just want to make a short um, video demonstrating how I paint just a little closet. So this is kind of a just a little storage closet in a bedroom. So I'm starting with the brushwork. So for that, I'm using an inch and a half tapered brush. And the paint is uh, a, a matte finish. So I'm going to get all the brushwork done before I start rolling. So a key would be you wouldn't want to put it on too heavy and make sure that you do feather it away from the corners. You, uh, you, you don't want to put it on too heavy in the corners. That's where I find the inch and a half brush really does work the best. That's a, just a tapered, uh, good quality paintbrush. Make sure that you do spend a little bit of money and, and get a good quality brush from wherever you're, you're purchasing the, the paint. They'll have high high quality brushes you just want to make sure that you get the best one that they have and then while the uh, brushwork is still wet um, I do like to do the rolling I find that it just seems to blend things a little bit nicer Because after your brush work is done, the paint will be still fairly wet for the first, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So good time to get all the rolling done, and uh, it just will take care of any heavy, heavy spots that you may have that you don't see. And then if you did put it on heavy in one spot, um, when you go to roll it, you'll be able to just... Uh, identify that if you're rolling right after you do your brushwork the same area as opposed to going and doing all your brushwork throughout the room and then going back then it, it will be dry um, so for the rolling I'm using a 10 millimeter nine and a half uh, inch length roller sleeve on a roller cage uh, these products as well I would suggest go with the best that they have um, it never hurts to spend a bit more money and it's well worth it when it comes to painting um, equipment and tools and materials so yeah this is just a quick little demonstration video I did miss one spot so I just have to go and quickly swipe that but uh, I hope you found it helpful um, I'm sure you're looking for some tips and tricks on doing some painting so hopefully you find this video helpful and if you have any questions uh, leave them below also, any comments or even suggestions um, of different tips and tricks that you might have for painting. We can all learn from one another. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And be sure to subscribe for seeing more content in the future.